All right, guys. So, quick little tip: if you got a 07 to 13 Chevy truck, like the pickups, Avalanche, Silverado, whatever, um, and your camera goes out, uh, don't be like me and buy a camera and then find out it's not that. So, there's my new camera that I plugged in and nothing worked. So I ended up pulling the tailgate harness off, started taking it apart, and oh, look at that. It broke. So I'm going to end up fixing this, and hopefully the camera works. But before you go and spend like 80, 90 bucks on a new camera to find out that's not it, go ahead and uh, pull the harness and just see if it's got any broken cables in it. Because what happens is, I read on the forums, they were talking about, I guess from opening and closing the tailgate all the time, just the wire gets brittle and it snaps. So, yeah. Take like the 10, 15 minutes to pull the harness and just unravel it. See if it's broke anywhere. I'm going to probably unravel the rest of this just to be sure. But I'm pretty sure this is the culprit. So, let me fix that and then see if the camera works and if it does I'll be showing it to you here's what I mean about the wire fraying if it'll focus focus uh, let, me, let me see here focus I guess that's too small, but right there, it's starting to break too. I guess this is right at one of the pivot points. So from it opening and closing, I guess it just kind of wears into it after a while. So I'll probably cut this wire and extend it a little bit too to give it some give. So it doesn't turn into a problem later. A few moments later. And we're back. So, soldered the two connections and semi installed the harness, plugged the camera in. So, let's see what she do. Moment of truth, guys. From a radio to boot up. Alrighty. We're in reverse. And we got action. Sweet. So, long story short, check the wiring first before spending any unnecessary money on the camera or that module underneath the passenger seat um, a lot of the forums like that I looked on they were chiming in about the wire breaking back there and I took it apart before and checked it out I didn't pull the loom off I just kind of looked where it was pivoting and nothing looked broken there but when I pulled that loom off that's where I saw the broken wire so if you initially inspect it don't see anything then start pulling the loom off and see if there's a broken wire under there hope this helps guys